Hi guys, um, Alex Tamulis here. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about Honeycomb 3.1, um, the update that um, Aces rolled out last night. I got mine around 9.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. It took a few minutes to download because uh, it was a, a 220 megabyte file. But um, I did mine, everything you know went smoothly. Um, the update, like I said, it took less than 10 minutes. I think it took like five minutes. I'm gonna go to the settings menu now and here you can see that I already have 3.1 installed. So there have been some significant changes with 3.1. The most noticeable for me are the Google browser changes, the widgets, multitasking, new apps that come bundled with the update, overall responsiveness of the uh, touchscreen, and the most important for me, 1080p playback on the YouTube app. So let's check out the uh, Google Chrome browser. When you scroll up or down, you have that icon that pops up and you can quickly scroll through the page. I really, really like this feature. Um, the web browser is much more responsive and it feels like a full-fledged browser now. One of the differences between Honeycomb 3.0 and 3.1 is the smoothness of the uh, home screens, scrolling left and right. They also bundled three apps with 3.1. Movie Studio, Zinio Reader, and the Kindle app. YouTube videos work fine when you watch them in full screen mode. That's great. I'm playing one of my latest videos about comic books and you can see it's just running smoothly. So let's just check out Big Buck Bunny for you guys to see what I'm talking about. Everybody seems to love this um, um, video on YouTube. It's running great. In the past, it was choppy, it was laggy. Uh, that's one of the main features for me since I watch lots of HD videos on YouTube in full screen mode. Uh, another thing that got even better is multitasking. Now you can scroll through the last apps, the previous apps, the most recent apps that you had open and you can keep scrolling. You know, in the past it was just the last five. Now you got all your history, 15, 20 apps, maybe even more. Um, something else that I liked was you know animations like the flow of animations such as when you tap the apps menu button they're flowing more smoothly as well um, this app is really cool it's called Xenia Reader for some reason the one that came with the update is not working so I downloaded it from the Android market and they have lots of free magazines bundled with the app. I'm flipping through the Rolling Stone magazine and as you can see it's a pretty good app. You have the bottom menu that you can just access any page. They also improved the uh, My Library app. I must say I don't really use this app very much. They have the uh, Vibe bookstore which is very similar to the Kindle store but I don't have an Asus account, so I haven't really used it yet. Besides, I do most of my reading on the Kindle app, and I do use the Kindle store every now and then. The home screen widgets can be resized. That is really good. I'm pretty sure that there's more things, but these were the ones that caught my attention. I know that there's some improvements like uh, USB host abilities and peripheral integration but I haven't really had the time to look into it, so I'm not gonna really talk about them. Um, what do you guys make of the new update? Did you notice any significant differences? Let me know, please. Later, guys.